how I ended up old in Boston and law school is a little circuitous. Um, so I, my undergrad is in mechanical engineering and I was one of those people who said that I was probably never gonna go to grad school. I don't think it would have happened without COVID um, just because everybody was working from home, things got a little weird and I was kind of looking for the next thing. I decided I was gonna take the LSAT and I didn't know if I was gonna do anything with it, but I was like, well, I'll just take the test and if the test goes well, I'll apply to law school. But one of the things I worried about to a certain extent is that I needed to make it make financial sense. I wasn't just out of undergrad and I had, you know, a lot of different life things to figure out and uh, law school kind of needed to make sense in them. I don't think that would have been possible, I guess, without a scholarship. Yeah, so I ended up in law school and it's it's been great. But it was always going to be BU for me and then I thought I was going to do patent prosecution at one point um, and then I kind of changed paths and now it looks like I'm going to do more patent litigation very start of law school at BU, you do what's called the uh, 1L lawyering program. And I think that they do a good job in that program, kind of give you a broad breadth, but get you prepared for some of the things like core skills that you'll do down the road. And um, that was such a great experience that I actually participated in that program. I was then able to kind of get back and act in kind of a mentorship uh, teaching role for that class this past year, which was awesome. Another great experience was I was a participant in the BU MIT Startup Law Clinic, trying to kind of help a lot of like interesting, fascinating startups kind of get off the ground with like base level legal services. So a lot of entity formation, making them LLCs and corporations, um, which that was a really cool experience. I got to see a different side of the engineering world that I had seen and I encourage Anybody who will listen, I guess, who are, who's coming to law school to kind of take up as much of those experiential opportunities as possible. None of it would be possible without the scholarship, so.